Hi, I'm Kyle with Ideal Aerosmith. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to balance a table. It is important to balance your table so that you get the maximum performance out of your system. I'm going to show you how to do that on one of our tables we have in the back. Now that we're at our table, we can begin to get a baseline on how uh, balance the axis is currently. To do that, I'm going to release the brake, move the table to either 90 or 270, and just see, as you can see, it's dropping now. That tells you that the table is too heavy on the bottom. So to correct for that, we can either adjust our counterweights on the side here, which a lot of our tables have different styles, or on other tables, we'll have counterweights that we bolt on top or bottom, depending on where you need them, in order to balance the axis. In this case, to start out, we want to get to a point where it's no longer falling on its own with the gravity. So I'm going to get it close. And you can see it's no longer moving one, way, one direction or the other. So that tells us we're getting pretty close. So another method of getting it as close to balance perfect as possible is to use a force gauge. What we want to do is test how much force it takes to push, start pushing the axis this way and this way, and our goal is to get the number to be the same, or really, really, really close. Uh, on our higher end systems, we have a method of uh, viewing this electronically on a data analysis panel, so we can uh, monitor our motor torque versus position. Now, for instance, if you wanna, if you're watching our Arrow 4000 here, as our example, on the graph, you're going to see a peak as it's the bottom half is starting to go up towards the top. And that's on the graph that'll tell you that you are bottom heavy. And we can show you that on our screen here. So first of all, I'm going to get the outer axis of this table to be rotating. And now I am graphing motor torque on the outer axis versus position on the outer axis. As you can see in this instance, our motor torque is pretty close to a flat line. So that's telling you that we're pretty close to balance. And that's the goal is to have this to be as flat as possible. So I'm going to stop the table, put it out of balance again, and show you what it looks like. And now you can see kind of an overall sinusoidal wave to the motor torque. And when you stop the graph, uh, your purple line here is the position. So you're going to do, you're going to have zero at the bottom and 360 at the very top before you cross back down. So if you cut that in half, the halfway point is your 180. So what we're looking at here is at about our 90 point is when it takes the most amount of torque to keep the table rotating. So in this case, that's telling us that as the table moves this way, it's getting harder and harder to keep the momentum going. And that's another way to tell you that this table is bottom heavy. So if you have any questions for us, please email us at support at idealarrow.com.